Mr. Majeski's Anatomy, 32 class lecture, chapter 13, part 2, coronary circulation and heartbeats. So, the heart is amazing in that it can create its own action potentials and direct its own contractions. So really, the heart doesn't need that much uh, input from the nervous system. And this is because the heart has what's referred to as a natural pacemaker and therefore can create its own signal, which is known as autorhythmicity. So to start with, the heart has what's referred to as the sinoatrial node. This is basically where the signal starts. It is the natural pacemaker. Doo -doo -doo. And the uh, cardiac muscle action potential then spreads from the sinoatrial node out to both of the atria, allowing them to contract at the same time. The signal also continues down through the atria to what's referred to as the atrioventricular node. Here, the cardiac action potential, when it reaches this mode, actually slows down, sort of halt, pauses for a second to prevent the ventricles from contracting at the same time as the atria. After that slight pause, which is only parts of a second, the signal then travels down the atrioventricular bundle. And this is the only spot, the only site where the cardiac action potential can move from the atria to the ventricles. Because after all, a lot of the space between the two um, parts of the heart are blocked by the not very conductive fiber skeleton. From here, the signal will then uh, continue down along the right and left bundles. Um, one for the obviously the right uh, ventricle and one for the left ventricle. And it will then continue down in the uh, intraventricular septum toward the apex of the heart. And then it will spread out through what are called the Purkinje fibers and basically spread that cardiac action potential throughout the ventricles allowing for the uh, ventricles to contract. And they actually contract starting at the apex of the heart thereby allowing the blood to be pushed up through the um, blood vessels such as the aorta and the pulmonary trunk. And the contraction from uh, time-wise, the lapse and the contractions of the atria and the ventricles are basically only 0.2 seconds. So again, this is all happening extremely rapidly. And this actually ends up relating to what's referred to as the cardiac cycle, which is when we have the beating of the heart. So first off, the heart starts off in the relaxation period. This is when all four chambers of the heart are in diastole, or basically are not contracted. And at this point, um, blood is able to flow from the atria into the ventricles, although as the blood flows into them, it's, uh, there's still also blood in the atria. Then you have the atrial systole. This is when the atria contract, pushing the remaining blood into the ventricles. And so this would match up with um, the signaling of the signal out from the sinoatrial node. And then you have what's referred to as the ventricular systole, which is in the ventricles contract at this point, pushing the blood out through the pulmonary trunk or the aorta, depending on which ventricle the blood's coming from. And so you have these three stages of the cardiac cycle, which is a relaxation period. The entire heart is relaxed. Atrial systole, when the atria contracts, sending blood to the ventricles. The ventricular systole, when the ventricles contract, sending blood into the ar arteries. And it's during this cycle that you actually hear the sounds of the heart. Now, listening to the sounds of a body is called auscultation. So when the doctor is using the stethoscope, usually, um, this is auscultation. So during the cardiac cycle, there are actually four sounds the heart that could technically be heard, but there's only two of them that we really think about, the S1, or lub, of the heart. And this is caused when the blood turbulence associated with the closure of the atrioventricular valves soon after 
ventricular systole begins. So when the valves between the atria and the ventricles close as the blood is rushing up, when ventricles contract, uh, that turbulence is the lub of the heart. And then S2, or the dub of the heart, and this is caused by blood turbulence associated with the closure of the semilunar valves at the beginning of the ventricular systole. So once all the blood from the ventricles are pushed out into the atria and the ventricles stop contracting, there's a slight pause as the, some of the blood wants to push back into the ventricles, but instead you get closure of the semilunar valves preventing that backflow, and that turbulence is the dub. So basically the things that we think of as the heartbeat, lub dub, lub dub, is uh, turbulence caused by the blood. Exercise in the heart. Well, a good way to take care of your heart is to engage in regular aerobic activities. And this will help to improve your cardiovascular health. And these sort of activities are regular sustained activities that raise your heart rate and in the end increases the rate of oxygen delivery throughout the body. So as you are um, regularly engaging in aerobic activities, over time you'll be able to increase the maximum cardio cardiac output, so increase the amount of blood that can leave the heart. Uh, you increase the levels of hemoglobin in the bloodstream, so you actually uh, get more red blood cells because your body needs to be prepared for these workouts. And you develop more capillary networks, especially in the skeletal systems, allowing for more oxygen to be carried to those important skeletal muscles. Coronary artery disease is a Unfortunately, a relative common problem, it's now one of the leading causes of death, and the coronary artery disease is caused when the uh, blood vessels, the arteries that are bringing blood, oxygenated blood to the heart, uh, begin to accumulate what are called erythroscleric um, plaques. And this will then reduce the amount of blood that can flow to the heart tissue itself, to the myocardium. And Having these uh, buildup of plaques in your coronary arteries can cause angiopectoris, which is chest pain, as well as myocardial infarction, which is an actual heart attack. And this myocardial infarction is caused when some sort of blood clot gets lodged into this buildup of plaques, preventing blood from flowing to a region of the heart. That part of the heart no longer is getting oxygen, so it begins to die. So coronary artery disease can be detected ahead of time through non-evasive approach such as resting electrocardiogram where they're basically um, looking at the heart's electrical output, that natural pacemaker in the heart. It can also be looked at through radionucleotide imaging in which a gamma camera is able to detect the distribution of a radioactive uh, substance in the body, which in this case is within the heart. And so if there's an area that is not receiving that radioactive substance, that must be, uh, blood flow must be not going to that part of the heart because of a blockage. Uh, there's also ectocardiography, which can be used to look at the interior of the heart using ultrasound imaging. So again, here you can see the heart. And then cardiac catheterization, I'm not, the word is not coming to me today catheterization, which basically means they insert a long, flexible catheter into one of the peripheral arteries or veins, so usually down in the leg. Get that um, little um, tube to move up to the heart and basically take pictures or see live the inside of the heart and the large blood vessels around it. Now, to treat coronary artery disease, there's a couple of approaches. There's uh, coronary artery bypass surgery, which means that basically they remove the blocked blood vessel and add uh, an artery from another part of the body to replace it. Uh, then there's per percutan percutaneous transluminal coronary angioplasty, which basically means they insert up another uh, flexible tube through the leg up into the area of the heart where you see um, the blockage. And then it sort of fills up like a balloon and that squishes out that um, plaque so that it's not blocking the, that artery as much. And that's it for uh, 
chapter 13. I hope you enjoyed it.